Welcome back to episode 7 of my post comp progress and I've got to go convert to energy because my Divinomatic Vacuum is now out of empty charges and uh, while I can still use this energy for um, oh what's that called? Wait what? Wait what? It converts it into a divine charge even though it's it's empty? Check storage? It's... huh that's strange, but I, I can still use this energy to go towards Augmenters, but there's my divination goal taken care of, uh, collected, well, what I believe is enough to make it all the way to 200 mil invention. Uh, time to go start working on some of the other goals. Uh, either going to do Fletching, or, oh, what was the other option? Oh, I'm gonna smith this gold ore into gold bars for simple components for siphons. I do just want to be clear though, I know that this isn't super efficient in terms of smithing XP. It's because it's not good XP per hour compared to something like LRC. And, uh, well, I mean, I could just go to LRC and get about the same amount of gold bars per hour as I am here. Uh, but LRC is a lot more focused. So I'd rather just sit here and do smithing for hours. It's a lot easier to do 10 hours of this than it is to do 10 hours of that. Plus, it doesn't require me to use uh, perfect plus potions, but those are fairly cheap regardless. So, uh, yeah. Oh, do I have this? Do I have this guy yet? Yeah, I've already, I've already got that guy. Nice doing a clue for uh, CS week because that just started today. Let's open this one. Uh, that's that's pretty meh. And then the CS week, free one. Oh, I don't have those, so I need to get those. Um, okay, I'll hold on to the casket. Relog. Uh, do that stuff. Yeah. Alright, so I had to relog, uh, even though this clue is from before reset and it's now after reset. Uh, I had to set up the auth and stuff, which required a relog. But let's see if I can. Yeah, cool, I can still open it. Uh, that's also pretty meh. But hopefully, I can get a new clue for today as well. And here we go. Two more clues. Uh, nothing. Probably nothing. Yeah, also nothing. Just. Just. Just pure nothing in my inventory. 400k total. Did a good bit of goldsmithing. Got up to uh, just under 8k bars. Uh, so gonna turn a lot of those into Slayer Rings over the next few days. Um, got lots of enchanted gems to buy up. And turn into precious components. Uh, but, came back to do me some fletching. Going to work through my uh, U-logs. And there's uh, virtual level 100. Wow, fletching is going to take forever. Well, I just missed it, but I uh, ended up passing 20 million fishing XP, uh, doing my daily limit as normal, and uh, yeah, slowly making my way up. Oh yeah, and I should give fair warning at this point, uh, I may be trying some fancy stuff later on in the video that's gonna be like, oh wow, he just, uh, he just maxed. I should tell him congrats, because... Yeah, okay, uh, long time viewer. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to be trying some stuff later on in the video um, that is like, you know, I zoom in on things like drops or like clue scroll items, um, you know, for, for people that are watching on like mobile or a smaller screen or in lower res than 1080p. It's something that I haven't done before because I don't really care for that style of editing. It kind of uh, bothers me since I generally only watch stuff on PC, but uh, I understand why some people would want it, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna try, play around with that. It's probably not gonna look that good, it's probably not gonna go well, um, but yeah, you guys you guys let me know. Uh, I will, I'll, I'll be trying it on every single like CS week clue that I get for the next few days at least. And Maul for today ended up giving me a D&D &D weekly reset token, so coming here to Tears of Guthix. Um, I don't do it all the time when I really should, uh, but it's just a little bit of Slayer XP, so it's not that huge of a deal, uh, since I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do Slayer past 200 mil in the end anyway, uh, but it'll be nice and pushing for, for the little, uh, 120 grind, and getting it twice in a row will be pretty fantastic XP. Okay, and that's amazing. I never knew that you could see people in here. I've never once seen... Another person doing Tears of Guthics with me at the same time. I thought it was an instant thing, and as soon as you came in, you know, you were going to be alone. But, <laughs> wow. 
Alright, ended up dying at Yakka because I got signed to CPR. Uh, we got blued, so um, yeah, I ended up dying like right at the end, but time to collect loot. Uh, let's see, do I still have the reroll token? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so collect Yakka. And, uh, oh, it's a double food, so I don't want to do this, but... Okay. Oh, it's double food again! Nice! Perfect. It's fantastic. And... Mm, ain't that just the saddest thing? Did a little bit of temple trekking just to, uh, you know, get some bowstring. Um, basically, need to, uh, yeah, string a lot of magic bows. So, let's... Oh, wait. Let's equip the Mauritania legs for before, just in case. Um, so that was one hour, uh, though I had to take a break at one point, so not a full hour. Uh, but yeah, that's what I ended up with. I just realized that I need to be making short bows, not shield bows, if I want dexterous components, which is what I'm going for. So, magics are going to be the shield bows, and I'm going to slowly string those over time, but I'm also going to make a lot of maple... Uh, yeah, maple short bows, and I will string those with what I have here, uh, because these will be good for P4E2 attempts, but, uh, yeah, I want the dexterous right now. Uh, I'll probably get a lot from doing shop runs, going for base parts, uh, which I'll be doing over, you know, the next short period, um, and then I'll just use short bows for everything else. Right, so I believe this bag of components just holds a lot of powerful components because I ripped through, um, I don't even know how many battle staves. So let's see, yeah, there we go, 154 powerful comps. And, uh, yeah, let's just put that in. So there's 1k magic shield bows, some magic stocks that I made a long time ago by accident, and unpowered orbs. I don't think I have anything over here, no. Um, yeah, so that'll run for a little bit, and, uh, gotta keep making magic shield bow, so I'll probably get some more strong ones just from the Fletching Gate perk. Uh, but just a few more logs to go through. Then I think I might I might use U logs on short bows. I haven't quite decided yet, so... Yeah, I have to make a decision soon, though, because I've only got 1.2k of these to go, go through. Also, did some shop runs and whatnot. Um, so there's 228 powerful components, uh, 70 dexterous, 203 enhancing, and then 27 precious, so... These are all going into uh, Augmenters and Siphons. Uh, I've also got uh, some Swift components down here that I'm going to stock up on, and I'll probably make a few less Siphons than I was initially planning on, uh, just because I'm going to do a whole lot of fishing, and fishing on Maddox basically remove, uh, you know, one-to-one -one for Siphons. And then uh, there's some base parts, up to about 1,400 there. Oh, I completely forgot. I made some uh, empty Light Orbs. And I think those just turned into faceted components. Um, yeah, so let me pull out some armor gizmos if I have them. Um, no, I don't believe I do. Uh, but I need this for my Bandos chestplate, I believe. Let me see. Uh, yeah, so that's currently got the Crystal Shield 3. And ED3 would be so much better. So let's, uh, let's make three of these. I... That's amazing. <laughs> I only have enough to make three in the first place. Okay. And there, I saved you guys a few seconds of waiting, so... Bam, let's pop this open. Throw in these. Please give it to me. I think I've missed twice. That's uh, so why I, I got it on my first try, and then I missed two times after that. Perfect. Okay, let's just keep trying. No. Nope. Yes! So now I have two extra, uh, which means I have one for my mage gear, or... Yeah, I guess T90 gear once I make that, since I don't think I'll be disassembling my armadil chest plate anytime soon. Uh, unless I, I end up getting lucky and getting a few more of those, but that is amazing. I figure that uh, if I'm going to be having my disassembler run, I should also fill up my Alker. Uh, just to be efficient, leave it running, go ahead and gather up some gold. And uh, yeah, so let me pick up all of this stuff. Just burnt through my skilling supplies. Got my crafting almost to 101, just 90k away. And uh, yeah, I think... I think that's everything. Uh, so if I just do a quick price check here, this is what I can look forward to. About 17.5 mil. Uh, that's pretty good. And I've already got a little bit. I think a few mil of stuff sitting in the uh, 
in the auto alker itself, so that's something to look forward to in a few days once this stuff is slowly burnt through. Alright, I'm in ports and I've got two return missions, hoping at least one of them passes. Yeah, okay, it's the other one. This one, please. Yes. Oh, man. It was another trio mission for one, uh, but the best part about it is the reward. So, uh, let's quickly space bar through this. And I think it was like a 76% pass rate or something like that uh, after I optimized everything, sent it out. Uh, it's not going to show me the reward, but bam! It was 50 Ancient Bones, 50 Chi, and uh, both were merchant boosted up 33%, so that was... <laughs> that's pretty insane. I now have enough for 8 scrimshaws, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to make them just yet, uh, but I probably will if I decide that I, I need scrimshaws for something or, or the other. Uh, so yeah, that, that's pretty insane, though. And here's some clue loot. See? CS Week. Nope, nothing. And uh, next one. Okay, I mean, that's that's something new. Uh, Addy Kite Shield Trim. I think that's from, like, medium clues, isn't it? That's going to be kind of annoying if I ever want to go for that set. Oh, whoops, I thought I was going to get a casket for this hard clue, but uh, there's another unique. Armadale Cloak. Glad I had Luck of the Dwarves on, at the very least. There are 12 days, an hour and a half left in this Gilinorian giving event, and I've already passed 10,000 tokens. I really do play too much, huh? You know, I, I should have expected this by doing, like, crafting or smithing or fletching all the time, but the XP gains are really just kind of sad for this video so far, so hopefully I can get this invention stuff taken care of uh, before the end of the video, and then I think I'm going to end up putting uh, streaming it's not going to be tomorrow for me, it'll be the day after. Um, but I'll put like a full day of streaming just constantly doing Slayer. Probably going to pick up a, a few virtual levels and uh, virtual level 2800 soon as well. Uh, so hopefully I can still keep up my rate of like, you know, almost 30 mil XP a week. Going to just go ahead and throw in uh, some of these U short bows that have already been made up. And these magic shield bows that are remaining didn't mean to equip that, um, and collect my big pouch of components out of the auto disassembler. Hopefully there's some good stuff. Wow, okay, uh, yeah, I mean, strong and precise, few dexterous, few enhancing. It was just random stuff that I threw in. Um, hopefully that'll keep it going for a little while and I can make some more, uh, U-shield, or U-short bows before it finishes. So, I've uh, only got a few more inventories to go of these U short bows, and then uh, I'm going to get some more bow strings from doing temple trekking fairly soon, uh, but about to go do a few Reaper assignments, actually. Uh, do the one that I currently have for Grador, then the one for today, and the one after reset. But there is 101 Fletching, and also Virtual Level 2800. Uh, milestone. So, that's another nice round number, and, uh, yeah, only a few hundred more to go, right? Well, 12 kills in here at Bandos, and, uh, yeah, War Priest of Bandos Helm. Really strange-looking mask. It's the only thing I've gotten so far. Yay, a God Sword Shard 2. Okay, shield number 3 or something like that? And I got a Godsword Shard 3 from a minion on the same kill. <laughs> okay. Alright, there's another Reaper assignment done. 56 complete for another 18 points. No way! <laughs> I got it! <laughs> yeah! Nice! That's perfect to go with my uh, upcoming Ascension crossbow. Oh, <laughs> thought I should show this too. Just uh, check the KC, and bam, two hundred and sixty-six, and that was at uh, the seventy-five percent drop bonus. Is my reputation uh, doing it solo just for a Reaper task? And uh, yeah, pretty happy about that. 
And there's the next uh, Reaper task done for 26 Reaper points, assignment number 57. Now see, of course I should come get my new Reaper task, since uh, reset just happened. Uh, not going to attempt Telos, let's see what's what's next. Oh, pick a task. May as well go with Rax, because uh, I think I'm going to do like an hour of Rax tonight. So I'll just pick that. Uh, however, rewards, Hydrix, Reaper points, bam. So I now have that, and uh, I think I have to, yes, I have to cut the Onyx first. Okay, just always really cautious about that. Yes, I'll create the uncut Hydrix, then I cut the Hydrix, and uh, let's see. Let's just head to Treyhern and turn this into my next item. So I'm going to get Gold Bar, fly up this way, and uh, let's see... Hydrix Amulet. Yes, I'm going to be going with the Amulet of Souls this time, not the Death Touch Bracelet. I think the next one will be the Ring of Death and then the Death Touch Bracelet last. But there's the Amulet, there's the Strung, and there is the Enchant. Bam. Amulet of Souls acquired. That'll be pretty fantastic, uh, especially since I'm about to go do a full raid. I think this is the better choice over the Reaper Necklace, so... Uh, Nice. So this is the third time I have done this exact same Nimi Forest. It has been open since Monday, my time, at 7 a.m., which is three days and, tw and 13 hours. That's... <laughs> how... <laughs> how does this happen? Just realized how incredibly close I am to a crafting level, so going to burn through that, and uh, there it is. Yep, crafting level uh, 101. So sadly, this ran out of stuff to disassemble. Let's grab the pouch. Another uh, 65 dexterous. That's pretty good. But here's another 2.9k U short bows just going in. It's going to be running for. Yeah, for a while, uh, so I'll have time to go back to Slayer before this kind of stuff gets done, and uh, I gotta make more bowstrings to keep it running, uh, but it'll allow me to start making some more siphons, and uh, just as soon as I bother to make the Slayer rings in my bank, yeah, 1.4k right there, I'll uh, be able to pop out, I don't know, quite a few siphons, let's see, 123, so that's uh, it's just around uh, 24 siphons, yeah, uh, so that'll be pretty good. I know I'm not quite there yet uh, in terms of uh, you know trying to bank 200 mil, but I think over time it'll be okay. Um, the only thing I really need to get more of are dexterous and like base parts, uh, so I'll just have to stock up on those and make myself a lot of fishing rods because you know if you're gonna go for 200 mil all, then you're gonna do 200 mil fishing and uh, 200 mil fishing you can just burn through about 100 fishing rod omatics and and you're good. All right, let's let's see the loot. Yakamaru, nothing, even pretty bad techie, and Beastmaster, still nothing. Nice, got some onyxes uh, on the third kill of this Reaper task, did a uh, full raid like y'all just saw, and um, you know, still had some time running on my sharpshooter aura, so I thought I'd come do some kills. Uh, gonna wait till it cool till it comes back off of cooldown, I'll probably come kill Rax uh, five more times during the stream tomorrow. And I learned that Salt the Wound and Mutating Dazing Shot works just fine during racks uh, as long as it's not Path 1. So that's good for me to know now. I'm, I'm happy. I was kind of avoiding racks because I thought, well, you know, I can't range it, so it's just not going to be as fun for me. But yeah, yeah, totally okay. Alright, here's a hard and elite clue. Start with the hard. And uh, that's nothing new. Let's re-roll. And do some not skipping tickets. That's some good bank value, I guess. And then the elite unlock. Okay, finally got nothing from it, so I'm gonna re-roll ah, into absolutely nothing. Rip. Oh, that's so good. So, yeah, came back to Hydrix Dragons, and I got the soul. <laughs> oh man, that's uh, wow. I think I'm, I've gone drier on the Onyx Dragons so far than I have on the Hydrix. 
because I just got this soul. I um I decided that I should start taking advantage of the higher XP rate here at Hydrix Dragons. And um, you can't hear it, the game sound, because I'm streaming right now. But, uh, yeah. I didn't expect to get it on my first task back at Hydrix Dragons. That's insane. And since people criticize me over and over again about having these unaugmented, I'm just going to go ahead and suck it up. It costs quite a lot of charges to keep them, and that's why I haven't done it yet, but, uh, yeah, fine. There. Augmented Noxbow, Augmented Staff, P3, E2 on each of them. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Precise 3, E2. And because I tend to do Slayer with my Staff, I'm going to put this on for now. I'll probably replace it with Aftershock later on, though. But, uh, yeah, I also put a Looting 2, and, um... Whatever that other one is, uh, scavenging to looting on, on my Nox bow um, until I can get aftershocks and everything. Gotta record this, pop out, bam, siphon that. There's another virtual level, uh, 127. And with today's harvest of the crystal tree, I pick up a uh, virtual farming level, number 101. Here's a uh, CS Week casket. Look at the dwarves on. There you, okay. First one, nothing. Second one, still nothing. All right, and here's another CS clue. First one is meh. And uh, second one, wow, these are all so horrible. Can I get another one? Please? Yeah, okay. Oh, whoops, instantly opened that one, uh, but there was nothing. And wow. That's six of these boxes open for a little bit more than uh, 950k. That's just sad, man. Hopefully these two can uh, make up for all those CS Week clue fails. There's a hard casket. <sighs> Another Armadale cloak. I'm pretty sure that's a repeat. And an elite casket. Let's open that up. Ooh, Bandos, Rune Kite Shield. That's something new want to uh, add a few more things here into my auto disassembler throw that in oh I got to uh, withdraw that there's uh, 197 dexterous components 305 precise so I can make these last four weapon gizmos into p4 e2 attempts um, yeah nothing good but I just uh, rolled through like 200 weapon gizmos more or less and uh, yeah, and I made myself an augmented crystal hammer as well. Made this crystal hammer a long time ago. Never augmented it, but there's breakdown four. Uh, gonna get some undead components from Barrow's Gear or something and eventually get breakdown five. Uh, and Enlighten 2, Wise 2. I heard it's really good uh, uh, item XP to smelt Corrupted Ore with this, so it's something uh, I figured I should go ahead and make. But... Um, I also did a little bit of fletching earlier, that's where those U-Shield bows I just threw in the disassembler came from, and uh, did another uh, Lost Grove Creatures task, which puts me at, oh, I don't know how many KC, uh, just a little over 300, with no gloves still. Let's see, Lost Grove, Grove Creatures, 352, so pretty unlucky so far. However. That's going to be the end of this video. We go on up tomorrow, and uh, there won't be a whole lot of progress starting into the beginning of the next one, uh, because there's a lot of uh, stuff going on in school. I think I've already mentioned that. Um, had like a four and a half to five mil XP day today, so that was pretty nice. But uh, can't be expecting that much over the weekend. You see crafting XP up here. That's because I was doing some harps even, uh, and I think I might go back to doing some harps or doing some thieving just to get a little bit of gold. Uh, also. Moving forward, um, oh nice, someone just got the Araxor base pet. Um, I'm planning on trying Dimension of the Damned once it does come out. Uh, I may like really go hard on it once it uh, once it's in full swing and try to get into the top five for that wonderful trip out to Jagex Studios. Uh, seeing as I've never left the U.S., that would be a pretty fantastic uh, thing, pretty fantastic experience, but... Um, you know, pretty low chance for me to uh, to end up getting that high. 
if I decide I like it, I will participate in it. Um, but if I don't really care for it, it'll just be more gains on this account regardless. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.